Hello, welcome back to 60 Second Zoology. My name's Amy, I'm a zoologist, and in this episode, we will be investigating the coloration of seabirds. The British Isles play host to an impressive 25 seabird species and are even globally important for some breeding populations. Although seabirds come in many different shapes and sizes, their coloration shares some similarities. Most exhibit plumage which is black and or white, which has led to many theories about the adaptive significance of this coloration. Razorbills, guillemots and puffins are particularly similar, being dark on top and pale below. As these species spend so much of their life at sea, they've gained adaptations over evolutionary history to make living in this environment much easier. Like on land, there are predators at sea that will hunt birds sitting on the surface. Being dark on top helps seabirds to blend in with the dark water when viewed from above the surface. Being pale below helps them to blend in with the sky when being viewed from below the surface. This reduces their chances of being spotted by a marine predator and therefore increases their survival whilst out at sea. This is known as countershading, but it's a difficult theory to test. Therefore, it cannot be used as a single explanation for seabirds' black and white colouring.